Hi, I'm Dr. Kamran Khan with the Animal Hospital of Chitek, and today we're going to talk about dentals. Our patient is Jack. He's a nine-year-old cat that has not been eating very much for the last week or so. A thorough physical exam revealed his teeth have significant tartar buildup. To be sure no other diseases were contributing to Jack's lack of appetite, a complete blood panel was also performed, and aside from mild dehydration, Jack was found to be in very good health. With this information, a dental cleaning was scheduled. Jack is already under general anesthesia and has an intravenous catheter and IV fluids running. The dental begins by using a forceps to crack off heavy tartar buildup. Tartar can actually form like cement around teeth. The only way to truly get it off is to use a forceps to crack it and pull it. This is one of many reasons why these procedures need to be formed under general anesthesia. Most dogs and cats will not sit still and tolerate this. Once heavy tartar is removed, ultrasonic scaling begins. An ultrasonic scaler uses high-frequency vibrations to remove any remaining deposits from the tooth surface. If used too long on any given tooth, it can cause enamel damage or even nerve damage to the tooth itself. This is why having certified veterinary technicians perform these procedures is crucial. While scaling is important, it is only the tip of the iceberg. The majority of the dental actually takes place underneath the surface of the gum line. Here, a dental curette is used to scrape away any remaining plaque from underneath the gum surface. This is the bacteria that will eat away at the root and cause most of our problems. Again, this is why general anesthesia is an absolute necessity. Cats and dogs will not let you do this on their own without risking serious injury to yourself. After cleaning below the gum line, we return to the surface of the teeth. A polishing instrument is now used because the scalers cause small scratches in the enamel. These scratches are great places for tartar to start forming again. Polishing smooths out these scratches to help prevent tartar buildup. It also gives the teeth a nice shine. After the technician completes polishing, the veterinarian comes to inspect each and every tooth. We check the surface for any defects in the enamel or dentin layers. We also check for deep pockets of bacteria that may require further investigation via x-ray. Here we have a tooth that visually looks bad, but on inspection we find it to be sound. Now we come to a tooth that visually looks okay, but a deep pocket was found. This tooth will be radiographed shortly. Once all teeth are inspected, the veterinarian directs the veterinary technician on which teeth we will radiograph. The technician then makes a chart noting any abnormalities and any problem areas that we may need to address. After charting, the most important part of the dental is performed. These are the dental x-rays. We would not want to remove a tooth unnecessarily. Oh, digital x-rays are taken, and we can look at them immediately. This is in real time. We now find one tooth to obviously have a defect in it. You can see that dark black area. That is where the bacteria is eating away at the tooth. Now one of the roots is okay, so it's going to be quite a job to remove it. But that back tooth, or that back root, is what is causing this cat's problem. That's going to hurt a lot, and it is the most likely reason why he is not eating. During this dental, several x-rays were actually taken. Uh, to keep things brief, we're only going to show a couple of them. Now we're going to take a look at that canine tooth that we've probed for a deep pocket. Uh, but x-rays actually show us that the tooth is very sound. Uh, we don't see any root damage. Uh, there is some erosion of the gum line, but this tooth is firmly anchored in. There, we can't see any bacteria here. Uh, we're actually very pleased with this. This is why digital dental x-rays are so important. If we didn't have this technology, we may have removed this tooth without uh, warrant. Uh, that's bad for the cat, it's, it's bad for us. Again, this is why dental x-rays before any tooth extraction is vital. We don't want to remove a tooth, we don't want to cause damage unless we absolutely have to. Jack did require to have several dental extractions performed. Unfortunately, at this time, we were about an hour in and the camera battery died. Uh, we weren't going to keep Jack under anesthesia longer than needed to be just to film a video. But here we see Jack about half an hour after his dental and tooth extractions. Uh, he's doing very well. He's bright and alert. This is what proper pain medication, proper nerve blocks do. 
You can see Jack's very well, and we're happy to report that he's eating well at home and he's showing no ill effects. Uh, thank you for watching our dental. As soon as we have another patient that requires extractions, I'll try to post it. Uh, until then, if you have any questions, you can always contact us at www.animalhospitalchitech.com. Thank you.